Uh, I'll start with you, Terry. The Minnesota Vikings, they got 100 yards rushing, not as prolific as last week, but since the change in the offensive coordinator, it seems to be the offense that Mike Zimmer wants. Well, they're making the effort to run, and I, that's as good as run. I mean, you got to make the effort. You can't just run a couple of times and then give up on it, so they're doing that. And then, of course, they got the huge Hail Mary right at the end of the half where when time ran out and Kyle Rudolph made a phenomenal catch. Rudolph, by the way, over, 100, over 120 yards receiving today. So they got their running game uh, going. I think Cook had about close to 80 yards, and then they got their receiving bunch going. They played well. Cousins, three touchdowns. Nice job. Yeah, and their, kind of, their defense ahead. is what their defense is, and a lot of those plays, you know, including the Rudolph Hail Mary play at the end of the half, uh, a lot of those plays are off of play-action pass, which is – a byproduct of what? The run game. Running game. Yeah, and, and you know, we talked about the run. It's just like a, a, keep running the ball. It's like the illusion of a running game. Sometimes open up the passing game. But uh, I also feel like that, that play at the end of the half, that was a backbreaker and broke the game wide turning open. Those are the type of thing. Yeah, the big turning point. And if you're Detroit, I mean, Detroit never can seem to get over the hump. But I think that's the most disappointing thing with this team. And the Super Bowl champion Eagles go to 8-7 and seven and are still alive in the playoff hunt. I want to talk about that in just a second. But first... Tony, let's talk about the Cowboys clinching the East. Yeah, yeah, congrats off to the Cowboys. I think they did what they had to do. This is how the Dallas Cowboys are going to win going forward. They played good defense, had the touchdown, had another turnover inside the 10-yard line to, to, to get another touchdown. And going forward, if you're playing against them, Dak, try to contain Zeke Elliott, to hold him under 100, double Amari Cooper, and you can win off of that uh, formula. But if they keep doing what they did today with that defense, they're a tough football team. And, and they're a tough football team, but, you know, the Eagles are still in it, and, and the Eagles have a luxury that, that, you know, other teams don't have. Two quarterbacks. You get one guy who's an all-pro who goes down, and then you get another guy who's Super Bowl MVP who steps in, and Nick Foles, and he can make all the throws. He's composed in the pocket. And whenever you have a vet, veteran quarterback like this, when you get in games that in crunch time like they had, he knows how to pull it off, and his teammates... They trust him, and that's the biggest thing you can have. So the Eagles have this luxury. They rode foals today, but the one thing they're going to have to get better at, they're going to have to run the ball better, and they still have some things in secondary that need to get worked out because they've had a lot of injuries back there. How about him getting off the canvas, foals? Yeah. That big drive. Yeah, for that call that was not really a rough in the big pass. Big call. He had 471 yeah. yards about that. and four call. touchdowns. Yeah. The Eagles How playoff fortunes tied almost directly to the Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> All right, here's a look at the playoff headlines. The Cowboys and Patriots clinch division titles, and those three teams have been eliminated from the playoff hunt. So here's a full look at the playoff picture in the AFC right now. It is really interesting. The Texans and Patriots, based off today's results, have flip-flops. And the Patriots, going into the last week of the season, still have a chance at a first-round bye. Meanwhile, over in the NFC, the Saints, if they can win today against the Steelers, they can clinch home field advantage throughout the NFC playoffs. Meanwhile, the Vikings stay alive here, Howie. Yeah, you know, typically when you make a move that late in the year, particularly at a coordinator position, you know, you're, you're saying that, you know, there's something wrong. Momentum has been on their side these last two games, and it's come with balance. Today, 28 runs, 28 passes. Rudolph had a big day, but that play-action pass, Dalvin Cook is dynamic. The run game sets up open runners in, in the secondary. I, I think this balanced offense plays better to the strength of their quarterback, and it plays better to the strength of their team, which is their defense. I like where they are going in. Win and you're in, as Mike Zimmer said. Good job with those notes. Really? Yeah, really. Outstanding. You're a magician. <laughs> 